Hey folks, welcome to the 49th Isometria Devlog. I've been hard at work again, and I'd like to bring you the latest changes and additions to Isometria. This week I added a new NPC, changed the way you interact with NPCs. I've also added the ability for players to sleep. I've introduced some changes to the way the biome progression will work in the game. As well, I've got some new items to show you, so let's just get started. You might have noticed right off the bat that some of the tiles have been updated in the swamp biome. Specifically, there's more variety in the grass tiles. And the sand tiles have also been changed. I'm slowly working through some of the older biomes to bring them up to par with some of the graphical changes I'd like to have implemented into this game. So I hope you like the new tiles. Casey, the doctor, has been added to the game. She spawns when you place an alchemy workbench. I've added a new UI to the game, a new chat dialogue UI for interacting with the NPCs. They now have a talk shop or heal button, and you can also close the menu. When you interact with them, they will be able to talk to you. And if you want, you can open the shop and buy their items, whatever they happen to have for sale. Also, Casey will offer the, the ability to heal you every so often. I've also gone ahead and updated spawn points to allow players to sleep in them. When sleeping, time will advance faster than normal, and players will be able to sleep through the night if they desire. In multiplayer, if all players are sleeping at once, the time will advance, otherwise it won't. Sweet dreams. If players are sleeping and they wake up too early, they'll have the groggy debuff and they won't have quite the best speed and stats. It'll be all slightly decreased for about 30 seconds, but if they fall back asleep, it'll go right away. Conversely, if you sleep long enough, you'll get a nice well-rested buff. I've added a few extra beds that allow the well-rested buff to vary between bed type that you sleep in and craft. So a tent will give you slightly less then a bed and a bed and an iron bed will be the best. In order to support a little bit more progression in the game, I've introduced the concept of keys, which will allow you to unlock particular underground zones. You'll have to defeat a boss in order to get one to progress to the next area. So for instance, the ice pick will open the permafrost layer, allowing you to go into it. Other new items include the Viridian Pulsar, the Crimson Burster, and the Azure Blaster. Three new ranged laser weapons that were added to the permafrost. Anyways, that's it for this week, folks. Stay tuned for more updates in the future. Anyways, have a good one. Bye-bye.